I should have made a mess. And this is called now what? Makeup routine. Your makeup routine, okay. Hi guys, it is Marsha Gauntlet Kirby of Brown Face TV. I'm filming a whole bunch of videos today, so you will probably see this top again. Today I'm going to be filming my nighttime skincare routine. I was having some issues. I filmed the daycare, my fall daycare skin routine, which I would link um, in this video, but I and I meant to come back to film the nighttime routine, but my skin was giving some issues. I don't know, I, like I said, I think I mentioned it in, mentioned it in that video. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what was happening with my skin, but it was just scaly and flaky. Um, I'm not sure if I'm dealing now in my more mature years with eczema. I don't know what was, what was happening, but it. Um, my skin flares up and then it went. Um, it went down. So for those flare-ups, I was using. I was just washing with water and using Eucerin, 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 and Aquaphor. Stay um, in my cabinet. Stay in my purse, my pocketbooks. They stay everywhere. Even on my desk right here, I just pull this off. Uh, Eucerin Original Healing Cream. And um, my husband has uh, very bad eczema at this point on his hands. And the doctor told him to go out and buy this eczema relief cream. This is what I was using on my face a few days until everything cleared up. I know that the Sephora sale is going on now, so I wanted to upload it. The holiday sale for Sephora is going on now. I did purchase a few things, and I didn't... Um, I don't usually make recommendations. Whenever my items come, I will just do a haul. But I wanted to get this video out now, since my skin has cleared up, and also so that if you saw anything you like, you can also, um, you can, you know, investigate, purchase, try from Sephora. I believe the sale ends on Monday. Today is Saturday. I'm filming this on a Saturday. Um, and the sale ends on Monday. Okay. Okay, this is not a review. I can go into review if you would like, but I had a sample of this Sephora uh, Best Skin Foundation, Best Skin Ever Foundation, and I tried it on, t I think it was like a week before the sale. It was just sitting there, and I said, something said, let me try it on. This is one of the only times that I put on a foundation and it melted in my, it, it matched my skin perfectly. Now, I'm faithful to NARS, but even putting on NARS, I have to wait a little bit for it to kind of um, oxidize, wait a bit, and even sometimes up here, you, I won't get a good mat, uh, up here where it's darker, it won't be a match, so I'll have to just, I'll have to bronze or put some powder there to kind of blend it in. This, I needed nothing. Th this is all I have on my face. I mean, all I have as a foundation, and of course, I put on blush and lipstick and stuff. This is amazing. And then with the discount, because it's 30% off, it's $20 um, on a regular, which is phenomenal. And then with the 30% off, you will get this for $14. Yes, $14. I, I think that's amazing. And even when this runs out, I will be getting some more, and I will gladly pay full price for this product. Okay, let's get into my nighttime fall skincare routine. Okay, hi guys, I'm back. Same day. I just um, had a few things to do. I even worked out with my makeup on. Yes, I did. Um, actually, I usually, I not to say I usually do that. I, when I would go to the gym at work, I would have my full face on and that would actually give me an indication of how um, like my foundations would hold up. And this Sephora foundation has held up pretty well. The hair is pulled back, uh, well, braided back. That's what I've been doing every night to give it that wavy effect. But this video is not about that. Okay, um, I am going to... What is the first step here? So I'm going to use my Clean Skin Club wipes. I love these things. I started using these back in this year, March. I originally started with the towel. I ordered this and the towel, the towelettes. Or is this the towel? These are the clean wipes. The towelettes. Um, and I just keep buying these because I love them. I love a good face wipe. And these are huge. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and they are clean. Most of my skincare, I'm looking at it now. Most of my skincare is, uh, uh, are from clean brands. So this kind of fit right in. 
I'm going to take off my makeup with this wipe and uh, then I'm going to wash my face. I'll show you what I use to wash my face and then um, we'll go from there. My light is gone, guys. I hope you can see it. Um, we turned the clocks back last week, so oh my god, these things are so wet still, which is fabulous. We yeah, we turned the clocks back last week, so now it's getting dark pretty early. I usually remove all the the face stuff and then I'll do the lips last. Okay, there we go. At night, I usually go between, uh, I don't know if I uh, spoke about this in my daytime routine, but I've been using this for the past, I wanna say five or six years now. I love this stuff. I don't, I, I'm never without this, especially in the fall and the winter. This is so, um, it's very mild, uh, and it does say that it's for sensitive skin, uh, but it's moisturizing, and that's what I usually need in the winter, fall and winter months. So I'm going between this, I just found out about this, I, it, it was actually an impulse buy, I saw Monroe still uh, promote it on her channel, on her Instagram page, and I love Eucerin, I just spoke about Eucerin products, so I ran and got this hydrating cleansing gel, and I've been using it for the past... I've had this, what, three weeks now, so interchangeably with this, uh, this is very, very mild. Oh, oh my goodness. Then, I'm also using this. I've been using this. This is my second bottle, so I've been using this for over, because one bottle is about six months, and this small bottle lasts me, only because I have, well, I had other things as well, but um, this is a mild. It's called Tatcha, the Deep Cleanse. It's a very mild exfoliator. I was using, you know, I think like most people, back in the day i was using the saint ives um scrub on my face and i went into sephora and there was a um black woman who looked really well really 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 good and she was older than me but she looked like she was maybe my age or younger she was like girl mm -mm, put that saint ives down use that on your feet don't use it on your face and then she recommended this one and another one but this one kind of stuck the other one was for a more pacific is that what it was i just i think you had to mix the water and it was just too much for me i don't, I don't have time for that so uh this one did stuck though it's like very fine crystals it's just i love this but because i'm going to be using retinol tonight i'm not going to use that one i'll just and i want to um remove whatever excess makeup is on my face i'm going to use this one all right i'm back Oh, fresh faced. Okay, so next step for me, I've mentioned these before, my Shiseido, Shiseido wipes. I keep them in a jar. I just pulled these out um, out of my drawer for this video just to show you. I've been faithful to these for like two years now. I mentioned this in my daytime skincare routine. This is my love. It's the uh, Sun and Park Beauty Water. It's a, I don't want to say hard to find now, but they used to sell it in Sephora. They don't anymore. I've been getting mine at Walmart, and I think I just found it on Amazon. So I'm going to use this to remove any excess. Um, it's mild, but it removes, it removes everything. Uh, this, I mentioned this in my last uh, skin my daytime skincare routine. I wanted to try this quarterly vino clean and I did get it and I've been using it this is very moisturizing I mainly use this in the morning sometimes I'll use it at night for an extra oomph extra bit of moisture but um I'm gonna use the Sun and Park tonight and I just repurchased um what did I do I from Sephora I purchased one of the sets the quarterly sets because I was running out of my serum All right, there we go. That's what's coming off, the excess there. All right, and then we're gonna wait for that to dry a bit. Okay, next up will be my retinol. 
All right, this one is from the Inky List. I've been using this for the past two years, I want to say. I love this stuff. This is not more than, I think this is the one that's not more than, either not more than $5, definitely not more than $10. This is amazing. I um, go between, I was using, what was I using? The one by uh, Biasance. Biasance before, which is way more expensive. And sometimes I'll still get, because you can get samples from the Biasance site. I like that one too. I love the feel of that. So that will be my high-end retinol. And this one is, a, it's very, very affordable and it's very, very good. I love this stuff. And it's, my, to me, it's gentle. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. I'm going to show you what that looks like. I don't know if the Inculus products are part of the Sephora um, sale. That's how it looks. Um, I know the ordinary products are not, so I don't know if it's the same thing. I just put on my little... Uh, nighttime turban here so we're gonna put that on and you know I should have had a mirror here I do have a mirror Okay, retinol is on. You know that skin regenerates at night. So, now for my moisturizer. This is what I use in the fall winter. This is so thick and creamy and just lush. It is the Biasance Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. I love Biasance products. Uh, I, yeah, if, again, if you watch, I'm gonna link it somewhere here. If you watch my daytime skincare routine, I, I love Bisons. Uh, we're gonna take a little bit of that. And just slather it there. Okay, it's crazy, because with my clothes, I am like more is more. Um, with my skincare, it's pretty much less is more. Oh, I must say that I was using an acid on my skin, one from Biosans, lactic acid. But um, I think I was doing the most. I went to Sephora and I was speaking to one of the um, the, re the Sephora representatives, uh, and they were like, "No, honey boo." Your skin is still in pretty good condition. I need to use one or the other. Like he was saying to break it up. Like half of the year, like the warmer months, use the lactic acid, let's say. And then the in the warmer months, I'm sorry, in the cooler months, use the retinol. So I am trying that right now. Because before, it would be one day I would use the lactic acid, wait a day, and then I'll use retinol. And then he was like, yeah, 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 no. Too much. So I'm, only, I'm sticking to the retinol right now. And that in your moisture. Mm. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna mention this Laneige water bank. Uh, this is amazing. It's wow. I got this as part of my birthday gift and I've been using it ever since. There were three products that came in there and it's lighter in texture than the Biasons. I'm not sure about the price points. I'll put it below, but this is just my sample I've been using. This thing is so moisturizing. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm mentioning it, mentioning it because um, there are some nights that I use this. All right. Now my last step is oil. And I go between two, I either go between squ uh, squalane oil from The Ordinary, which to me is a little lighter. Um, I'm gonna have to buy a new bottle soon. Um, I use it a lot, but it spilled after I just got it. Or, and this bottle is a mess. Um, I need to re-up this one as well. There's still more in here though. This is uh, the Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. Uh, so I'll go between the two. I think I'm gonna go heavier. It's light, but it's heavy. I'm gonna go with this one tonight. Um, you could also use these in your hair. You could put them, put them in your hair, put them in your moist, your, uh, conditioners. We just go and drop that all on here. Okay.
Alright, I currently don't use a, um, I currently don't use an eye cream. I probably should invest in one. Uh, I just don't know, I don't know what to use in. Do they really work? If you have any suggestions, please drop them below. Okay, lips. Now, it's a good old aquaphor. It's a big old jar, okay, because we use it for the whole family. I have a smaller tube in my bag, but we're just going to dip right in this jar. And slather. So I do have the. I just showed the the Laneige Moisture Bank Moisturizer, and in that came the Laneige, the infamous uh, lip overnight lip mask, which is really good as well. I went to purchase the set because that's um, it's been very popular, and it sold out. So. Aquaphor, okay? You can find this CVS, wherever. Alright guys, that is it for my nighttime skin routine. I don't do much. Yeah, that's about it. Any questions, comments, please leave them below. And thank you for watching. Good night guys. Bye!